Yo, happy Friday. It is Friday, I hope. <laughs> Welcome to show 434. 434. How to thrive in your career. How to thrive in your career. Okay, so we're going to go through a little bit of that today. Um, and we're going to I'm going to throw a few curveballs and thought processes in there for you to go away and kind of think about in terms of, you know, your life and where you're going and what you're trying to achieve. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Welcome to the Rise to Thrive show. I am your host, James Borman. And if you are coming through, then please do let me know in the comments. And the question that I want you to ask this answer this morning is are you thriving in your career so are you thriving in your career what do i mean by thriving thriving is are you driving with passion in your career are you ambitious in your career do you want to take it further in your career or do you hate your career like are you stuck in a job that brings you no satisfaction that brings you nothing but stress and hardship or you're around poor management, or maybe you are the poor management. <laughs> or do you have your business? Are you in a business that you love? Or is your business a sinking ship? Or is it thriving and you can't keep up? And you're burnt out, right? So how do we thrive in that career? And that's what we're going to go through. Before we get started, just to let you know that um, next week I'm going to be introducing... Um, my three guest speakers for the November 25th Elite Movement Seminar, okay? Our end of year seminar that we do, okay? Um, three great speakers, three great guys, two with incredible stories, incredible stories about almost overcoming death, which is incredible, it's madness. And then another super great guy who um, has just brought out a best-selling book on six, six key habits, okay, to performing at a high level. Um, and then obviously me, little old me. All right, so um, we've got some great speakers that are coming up, and um, I'm really looking forward to being able to open this up and hopefully fill it up, okay? Um, if you're not on a waiting list, um, the waiting list is on the copy here. The first 50 tickets are going to be 50%, okay? Um, and then uh, the next 50 tickets will be 40%, and then the next 50 tickets will be 30%. But I think there's only about 70 seats left anyway. Um, so get yourself on that waiting list, because that's the only place that we're going to open up the tickets, okay? Um, all right, let's get into this. Let's get into this. Are you thriving in your career? So I'm going to make a statement and say, I don't think... Um, I don't think that you can thrive in a career where you are not happy. Okay? Just like you couldn't thrive in a marriage that doesn't work anymore. Just like you can't thrive in a gym when you hate the gym or thrive at running when you hate running. There is nothing I could say or do, I don't believe, for you to be able to enjoy, thrive, be ambitious and driven within a job that you just can't stand. Okay. And the way that I look at a career, you know, I have, I've obviously worked for myself um, since 20, 2013, so I haven't been in that role for a long time. But I have been in lots of roles before I started working for myself. Um, and when you, one thing I, I remember saying, when I left the military, I came and I was back and I was a college teacher. Okay, I was teaching like public services, outdoor education, uh, and a bit of sports. And I remember sitting at my desk, and I was in the office, I was sitting in the desk, and I must have been doing a job about a year. Okay, and I really, did not enjoy the job and I didn't enjoy the job because I didn't like the clientele who were 16 to 19 year olds <laughs> they just didn't want to learn they just didn't want to be there they just wanted to 
like chase girls, chase boys and drink. I didn't like the infrastructure, I didn't like the management, I didn't like the message, I didn't like the environment. And I remember sitting there reading this, <laughs> this piece of work that this kid had sent me. And I just looked at this and I remember saying, this can't be my life for the next 30 years. And I, and I think I said it out loud. <laughs> and I just remember sitting there going, this can't be it for the next 30 years. This, like, this cannot be my life for the next 30 years. Can you resonate with that within your job? And it's interesting, right? <laughs> I, I, 30 years, you could do less for murdering someone. So what you end up come, becoming a victim of is career jail. Now, career jail is when you allow yourself to keep waking up, going back into that environment and living a lackless, lifeless, uninspiring environment and conditions. So it's no wonder you're not showing up at your potential. It's no wonder you're not reaching your potential. It's no wonder you feel pretty miserable about coming home every day. And a lot of people do this in relation relationships, right? They just, they settle. And a lot of people settle for the job that they're in. A lot of people settle for the business that they have and don't grow it, don't evolve it. And I think we get stuck behind a barrier of self-limiting beliefs about our relationship with a career. So when I worked at the college, I had a side hustle and I desperately needed that side hustle because I was desperately broke. <laughs> I, I took a, about an 18 grand uh, a year pay cut from when I left the military as a sergeant to then being a teacher. And things were very, very, very financially restricted. So I had to do a side hustle, I had to do some PT on the side. So I'd finish college and then I'd go off and do like five PTs in an evening. Um, and I'd go off and do five PTs in the evening. Um, and I always restricted myself thinking, oh, you, you're going to be able to run a business in about five years. So let's aim for five, six, seven years. And I used to restrict my career development by um, my own self-limiting beliefs and my own fear. Okay. And I never thought that I could change. I never thought that I could leave the college because it had still an element of security to it. Okay. But I was never really thriving in that job because I never really walked into the job and went, man, I love this job. You know, some people love that teaching role and some people are, that, that's what they live for and that's brilliant, but it just wasn't for me, okay? And I think that's what's important. It wasn't for me. So I took a huge gamble and I'm not saying, right, and I'm not saying that you should do this. I am just telling you my story. I took a huge gamble and I turned around and thought, I choose life. <laughs> so I quit and I quit after being triggered, um, <laughs> it's like a rap song, and I, tr and I was triggered because the college treated me like crap, their management were awful, uh, and it got to a point where it was an untenable relationship, so I left, and I went out to run a business, and I didn't know what running a business was, I didn't know how to run a business, I just left, and I put my faith in my hard work, my work ethic, and if I was in America, Jesus Christ. Um, and I just put all, I've just put my faith in, like, the universe showing me the way a little bit. And I was earning about £650 a month, and my outgoings were two and a half grand. And I got a bit of a payout from the college. I borrowed money off my mum, and I spent three months changing like that side hustle into a business. And I was thriving because I loved the challenge of building a business. I loved the challenge of doing something that I loved. I loved the challenge of being around people that loved my help or wanted my help. And I was changing lives through my boot camp. And in the first year of that business, we went from doing like 6,000 pounds a year, 
a year to £106,000 a year. And the reward of that was because I was thriving. And it was never about the money. It was just about living and not existing within my career. And I work ridiculous hours. There are lots of bad things that come off the back of that success. You know, overworking, not paying enough attention to my kids, which is how I know and have all of that experience to be able to teach professional guys not to go down that route. So was I thriving in my career? No, I wasn't. Did I make the change? Yes, I did. Was it a risk? Of course it is. But what is the opposite of that risk is that, man, you could apply for anything. Like if you really needed to, if the, if the situation called for it, you could go and work at McDonald's for three months whilst you paid your mortgage and figured it out. You know, that's what people do. Life is too short to be going into a place where you spend the majority of your time being miserable, being unhappy, not doing what you want to do. And too many people procrastinate too long over and over and over again, which is why you never reach your potential in your career. It's why you never reach your potential in your business. A lot of my friends, a lot of people I know do not understand my work ethic. Everyone's always telling me to slow down. I don't want to slow down. I don't want to slow down. I want to go harder. I've come back from Italy with, with, with clear focus about where we're going with, the, with my business. I'm, re I'm hungry. Let's go. I'm ready. I will finish my working day and I will be fried because I've done more work in one day than probably most will in five. And I do that Monday to Friday. I go all in, but then I go all in at the weekend to the family. Because I'm excited, because I love the process. That's thriving. I wake up every single morning and I'm like, let's get to work, let's go. I'm thinking about how we can grow the empire. I'm thinking about how we can expand the empire. Because everything until now has just been a test. We've been testing everything. We haven't even got started. And that is the exciting part of my career personally. And that's how you should be looking at it. It's like, man, let's go. I'm ready to thrive. I'm ready to grow. I'm, like, I'm ready to put the work in. I'm ready to be the best in my, uh, at what I do within my, within my market, within your industry, within your role. And if you're not, then start the process of looking around for something that you do want to do. Start getting application forms in. Start getting your CVs up. Start looking around. Start applying for everything. Start doing something, but stop moaning about your job. If your job is dictating your life, then do something about it. Because I'm telling you, bro, you're going to wake up one day, and that moment, the energy, the focus would have passed, and you're stuck. I'm a big believer that it is never too late. You are in control. To reach limitless potential, you must do things that you are unwilling to do. Okay, You're unwilling to make the effort to change your job. You're unwilling to start that business. You're unwilling to take a risk. You're unwilling to make decisions. So you'll just stay comfortable in the same like a lot of people do with their job. My dog is like, what is going on? Just a bit passionate, Jesse. Um, and that's what it's about, right? But this is what we're trying to get to. We're trying to be high performers. We're trying to have an elite mentality, right? We're trying to, we're trying to reach limitless potential. But you won't do it in a job that you're unhappy and unhappy in. You won't do that in a business you don't believe in. Let's go. Let's get to work. Have a good weekend.